So, so my view is quite clear. I, I believe cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is the first example. I believe they're going to change the world. Bitcoin and things like it is the equivalent of the red pill. Okay, we are entering a completely world of uncharted water. Have right you now. made any investments in Bitcoin? So, I mean, I personally, I own Bitcoin in my hedge fund. I own Bitcoin in my fund. I own Bitcoin in my private account. Uh, it is a huge deal. Uh, I think eventually uh, cryptocurrency will be recognized as probably the most important invention in economics and technology in the 21st century since the introduction of the internet. At its core, Bitcoin is just a digital file that lists accounts and money like a ledger. A copy of this file is maintained on every computer in the Bitcoin network. To send money, you broadcast to the network that the amount on your account should go down and the amount on a receiver's account up. Nodes or computers in the Bitcoin network apply that transaction to their copy of the ledger and then pass on the transaction to other nodes. This, with some math-based security, is really all there is, a system that lets a group of computers maintain a ledger. While this may sound similar to the way a bank maintains a ledger, the fact that the ledger is maintained by a group rather than a single entity introduces a number of important differences. All cryptographic money systems before Bitcoin use the third party, central third party, to do reconciliation at the end of the day, at the end of a period, or at some point. You needed a trusted third party to do both issuance as well as reconciliation of transactions to ensure that no one was doing unfair dealing, double spending. So the major invention of, the, of Bitcoin enabled a network of distributed nodes to achieve consensus, to agree on the common state of the network. Bitcoin cryptocurrencies solve this problem of coming to a consensus globally where you don't trust anybody else. In Bitcoin, you're dealing with anonymous strangers, so you shouldn't trust anyone. The Bitcoin system is amazingly designed so that no trust is needed. Special mathematical functions protect every aspect of the system. Of the seven and a half billion people on this planet, only one billion people have access to banking facilities. My reason for being interested in Bitcoin is because I think Bitcoin can change that. Because simply with the introduction of not even a very smart smartphone, um, you can introduce banking services throughout the world. Cryptocurrencies, again, Bitcoin in particular, have a really quite powerful role to play in the near term in, in international remittances. Um, I think they solve a real problem that other approaches don't. It's being used everywhere where you would think it would be used. Russia, Iran, Iraq, Egypt, Venezuela, Argentina, everywhere where you have currency pressure, everywhere where you want to basically shield your assets. And then after that, it'll probably become a payment mechanism. So in all of these three industries, you're talking about trillions of dollars up for grabs. Up for grabs! Bitcoin today is perhaps best thought of as a currency and payment system. But in reality, it's a very sophisticated, globally distributed asset register. Um, those things we're moving around that we call bitcoins are individually identifiable and associated with an owner who is the only person who can then spend them on. So today, they have value. One bitcoin may be worth $150. But there's no reason why I, as an individual or as a trusted company, can't say, I assert that that bitcoin is actually 100 shares of Twitter, say. And wherever that gets moved to, whoever owns it on the day the, div on the, day the dividend is paid, um, they receive the dividend rather than somebody else. It's not difficult to see that system being used to build the next generation's central securities depository or custodian bank. Um, it, that technology is very, very generalized and it's not just a currency and payment system. So there's a whole area of innovation that hasn't even begun yet, building on this idea of a publicly visible, globally distributed asset register that just happens today to be used as a digital currency. Mm -hmm. So you're in like the long term very, very bullish on currencies such as Bitcoin. And I am. I think there is so much technical innovation here. The, um, the core technology, had you asked me five years ago, I would have said was impossible. Cryptocurrencies were invented, and once they were invented, they're not going anywhere. It is a huge deal. It's a huge, huge, huge deal. The, the technological cat is, is out of the bag.